So guys, if you follow me on Twitter, which I'll put right here on the screen, you guys noticed that we got 14.3RC as an iPadOS update today as a developer, right? So if you go into the About section, click on the 14.3, you see right there that we're rocking 18C65, and you know that there's no letter after that, which means we're pretty much right there. And it also looks like Apple got rid of their GM moniker, the Gold Master Grand Master, and moved it to RC, which I believe stands for Release Candidate. So basically saying like, hey, this is as close as we're gonna get to a public release. I want you guys to test it because next week everybody else is gonna get it. But that is the build number, 14.3, 18C65, and then it was also 4.5 gigabytes. So there isn't gonna be a huge difference between this and beta three, but the reason it's 4.5 gigabytes is because it's a mass overhaul of everything, cleaning up a bunch of bug fixes, and basically getting us ready for that final public release. So that's why it's so big, and that's probably what you're gonna get as a normal user. It's gonna be about four to five gigabytes. So give yourself a solid nine to 10 gigabytes of space in order to install this guy. But some of the things that I did wanna go over is what was added to iPadOS 14.3 RC. So the first thing is if you go into your general settings, hit Safari, you guys know that with 14.3, it gave us the option to change our default search engine even within Safari. So what Apple did is they added Ecosia, Ecosia, and it's basically a platform where every search helps plant trees. So I love the move by Apple. They took this huge environmental route with getting rid of all the chargers. They're doubling down by adding this Ecosia default search engine through Safari, so that's right there, and that was added, like I said, right in the Safari search engine tab. Another thing that we supposedly got was, inside of Apple TV, we're supposed to get a new tab. Now, I don't know if they're referring to this circle right here, but that's been a while, that's been there for a little while now, but I think we're supposed to get a Apple TV Plus tab along the bottom to show you just what's on Apple TV Plus, but this is the other option, it's right in front of your face, so basically giving you all the Apple TV options right then and there. Now, I wonder if this is what they meant, because like I said, this has been here for a little while now. I'm assuming that they meant that they were gonna put something down here, but I'm not seeing it, at least not on the iPad side. The next one was actually released in beta two, I believe, for 14.3 beta two, and it's that new shortcut animation. So before, when people were making all those custom icon packs, making their home screen look really cool, you know, I deferred from it because of the fact that it had to open up the shortcut app and then open up the app that you were shortcutting to. But now if you can see, this is just a custom shortcut that I created randomly for YouTube. So basically I created a test shortcut just to YouTube and I clicked it on here and it opens up YouTube without opening up the shortcuts app and all you get is that little tab up there saying, hey, you used a shortcut, which is absolutely awesome and gives you a little bit more freedom when it comes to actually customizing your home screen. So the next setting is inside the camera option. So if you go here, go to camera, you now have the option to mirror the front camera. So basically just changing the pane and it's as if people are looking at you directly versus the camera mirroring exactly what it's seeing. So a couple more things that I wanted to touch on. So we were supposed to get an Apple Fitness Plus application on the iPhone and the iPad Pro, or any iPad therefore, but I haven't seen it, it's not there, and I know that it has a lot to do with the fitness application on the Apple Watch, and Apple Watch has never been supported on the iPad, so maybe that's the issue. But again, we're supposed to get an Apple Fitness Plus application, dedicated app, because you know apparently you're supposed to be able to view all the content, view all the lessons, view all the classes directly from your iPad. And then we also got compatibility for the new AirPods Pro Max, which is right there, which, you know, I don't have them, nobody has them yet, so we can't really show that off. But these are just some of the things that they did change up. And then lastly, the bug fixes that they made. So apparently people were having issues with the MMS messaging, that's been fixed. The laggy keyboard has been fixed. Supposedly, I have never had, or I haven't had an issue with the laggy keyboard since 14.3 beta one, but a lot of people still have that. But that's pretty much the update in a nutshell. I'm gonna do a whole video recapping all of 14.3 when it's released to the public, so definitely subscribe. So I'm gonna go an in-depth review on everything that's new with 14.3 for all the masses, guys. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time,